LastLadyDrJays.com, the the stylist that everyone looks up to, June Ambrose. Oh, what an intro. Yeah, oh, well. That's fantastic. I, I know. I Like I said, I've, I've looked up to you for many years because I just know the amazing work you've done. Thank 17 you. years now. 17 years, yeah. Wow. I was probably in diapers. <laughs> When I started, of course, of course. At least we like to think so. In D- designer diapers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're at Rockaway, uh, Midtown Manhattan. We're looking at the the upcoming holiday collection. Rockaway is so hot and so exciting right now. How did you come on board? I mean, this is the 10th anniversary. Um, Jay is a client of mine. He's been a client of mine for for many years now, and I wanted to uh, lend my um, aesthetics to the brand, and I have become the uh, style architect for the 10th year anniversary capsule collection. I mean, it is a brilliant collection. It really celebrates the empowerment of an urban brand that's been in existence and has survived and sustained and has married a customer with no divorces. Right. <laughs> no, you know, there may have been a fight here and there, but you know, at the end of the day, you you know, the collection continuously reinvents itself. With this, different licenses oh, and just, my God. they cover everything now. What's great about this situation is, you see Jay's hand in everything. Mm. I tell you what this collection does. This collection takes back any customer that, that walked away feeling like I'm moving on to I've another it or, or high-end yeah. brand or brand that's, uh, you know, not to name any names, but just other brands that have been aspiring urban customers for years that they were like, you know, I want to be in the guy with the horse. Mm. Or I want to be in, you know, the red, white, and blue brand. Or, you know, all the other brands that weren't classified as urban. This collection is taking back the customer and saying, I'm giving you a little bit of everything you thought we couldn't be. Um, Both on the men's side and the women's side. The inspirations and the energy of the R Plus line, which is the new logo, which is very sophisticated. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. So they've switched up the old Rockaway logo. And now we're working with the new sophisticated logo. The logo's brilliant. It's a little, it's an R and a plus. Okay. It's like we don't need to explain ourselves all anymore. You need. We've been here ten years, and this is the new. All, all you need. The days of very big, aggressive logos spread across your chest mm-hmm. is gone. You notice no one's really wearing bling, bling, bling. No. So you know the logos are lifestyle logos, and these are pieces that you want in your wardrobe forever. Yeah. Um, these are pieces that no one could call you out on. Right. You know, they're. Right. I think that is as sophisticated as Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger. Well, I know you wouldn't put your name to something like this and get on camera to talk about a new collection from Rockaway if you didn't yeah. believe in it. No, this is great. I, yeah. This to me is aspirational and the future of urban, mm. the urban lifestyle. And when you think about urban, I think we need to start redefining what that is. I did this. Um, the style guide. Mm -hmm. And when you look up the definition of urban in the dictionary, you'd be quite surprised what it says. Mm. It's been redefined in the fashion industry as something else um, and been associated with hip hop and rap. Mm. But in actuality, urban is something that's very opulent and decadent. I mean, it's something very, uh, if you look at all the images on the wall and you see kind of like the periods that they're taking it back to 1920s and 40s, downtown Wall Street, right. that was the urban consumer. Mm. He was the guy getting dressed up in a three-piece suit, oh, definitely. bow tie and tweeds, trading mm-hmm. downtown, trading horses and, you know, really. And just the urban was the texture of the neighborhood, the ruralness of it. And we're taking back, I think, that, you know, lifestyle. When you talk about the culture, the culture is really what makes it into style. What gives it a style is essence. Fashion is nothing without style. Of course. That's what I preach every day. Like, if I'm doing a, you know, Speaking of cover, style, have you picked up June's book? Effortless style, darling. <laughs> Had to throw I'm in the plug. I'm in paperback right now. I love that you think for me. Of course. Because I was so sucked in. <laughs> because you're so... In, no, but speaking of the urban aesthetic, you have single-handedly maybe affected it more than anyone else because you've styled seen let it. people know who you've you I haven't mean, just I've seen it you've created it everyone from puffy to, i mean i put puffy in red shiny suits and you know jay put on his first Giorgio Armani suit with me we had that experience together i mean when guys like you know nas and buster rhymes and r kelly just you know really launching their careers in the marketplace and creating an iconic platform mm. that was at the time so untouchable and giving so sure. you know that, that consumer buying that record dreams mm. and, and aspirations far beyond you know their imagination in a very dark underground rock and roll because well, that's what hip-hop was yeah when i started years ago hip-hop was underground it was grungy it was dark it was battlefield yeah and then we made it like hollywood glamour um magic it's and a celebration. I, I think that aesthetic 
has evolved 10 years later into this runway urban hip-hop couture without forgetting its roots but everything grows everything develops well, the roots is the, is the consumer right it will never go away yeah if i can get a guy in the street to put on a bow tie what's so different about the harlem renaissance and the guy from the 1940s like what what's the difference mm. you know like mm. there's no difference you still are who you are it's your swagger and what you bring to the look is what brings the translation and make it so magical do you still work with artists today I, absolutely yeah i am Still a celebrity mm, stylist. Mm. Um, Who are some of your favorite new artists that you work with? I'm working with Chrisette Michelle. Um, she's wonderful. Mm. Um, just did a shoot with Dream. That was uh, quite an experience. And his new lady. Mm. No one, haven't talked about that mm. yet. Mm. But I'll tweet about it. So follow me on June yeah. Ambrose on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't follow June Ambrose on Twitter, you must. So it's I spill the tea on Twitter all you the time. You do the chai and tea. If you don't know what chai tea is about, it is about the spilling and the dishing and the servicing of decadent gossip and lifestyle information. The queen of opulence, be, yeah, right? You know, you have to be a style social. Yeah. Because you might not get it. I speak very um, eccentric in my tweets. And if you're just coming on board, you're like, what is she talking about? Oh, and you know, people, someone said to me, why is everything opulent and decadent? Everything that's expensive doesn't, you know, mean it's, I said, oh, hold up. Mm -hmm. If I bought something from H&M, it's still opulent. Don't right, exactly. Don't have to it. Mm -hmm. It's your mentality, your thoughts, your being, mm -hmm. your presence. Well, if they have no idea that hip hop's been aspirational from the beginning, then I, uh, I mean, look at Jay Z and look at Puff. Those guys are on private jets. Yeah. I mean, that is an opulent urban lifestyle. <laughs> I love it. You have so it's twittercom slash June Ambrose. Yes, and coming soon, ChaiT.com. That's going to be exciting. Oh, because when I tell you the one exclusive of information that you will be receiving on ChaiT.com. Yeah. But we'll be sharing all that information on drjays.com because I you are wait. so important. You guys important. have been so supportive for me in the stiletto workout. Yeah, you guys we, were right there when that news broke. Love it. When I took back my legs and said, you know what, the summertime is coming and I'm going to revolutionize as a rock mom. That's what I am. Yeah, rock mom. You are the rock away. mom. That's exactly. Right. I can get my body into one of these pieces that are supposed to be for the juniors. Yeah. <laughs> then I am accomplished. I guess the final question is drjays.com. We're known as the, the leading online retailer of street fashion, urban fashion. It's been a destination for me for many years. Thank you, thank has, you. And yes. what do you say to people that say street fashion and urban fashion is dead? <laughs> then if, if that's dead, then you don't exist anymore. <laughs> Because you bring, life to the, you bring life to the moment, Tell darling. You. It's fashion. It's nothing without you, right. without you bringing your own personal mm. style to it. And if hip-hop so, isn't dead, why is, why is the fashion that accompanies it dead? I don't understand that either. But Listen, I know a pop girl that wears Rockaway. Mm. Get focused. <laughs> I love it. Don't you put a it. ceiling on this brand. Ah, <laughs> you heard it here first. Make sure you check out June on Twitter. We have lots more Rockaway exclusives coming up this year. Thank you so much, Thank June. You so You're much. welcome.